YouTube family. We're going to do the hug real quick before I forget. So come on, come on, come on. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture. It's not cute not knowing, and now we're going to know. So much scoop today. I hope you're ready. Where's Usher? There's a great new mini movie where they're looking for Usher in Las Vegas, who's doing the Super Bowl this weekend, the halftime show. You got Ludacris, Little John, Taraji P. Henty, Anderson Pack, Wesley Snipes. They're all in Vegas, and it gives you hints. Um, confessions, rollerblading, yeah. I know Lil John. They they coming on to do yeah. I I if, I said if no one else shows up, it'll be Lil John. Apple Music produced this little mini movie because they're producing the halftime show for the Super Bowl. Now Usher is making waves everywhere. He admitted that his show is going to be a little longer. Normally the halftime show at the Super Bowl is thirteen minutes. His is going to be fifteen. Maybe this will give him time to change out of the roller skates because that's going to be roller skating. He's going on tour across the country, a 24-city tour, and they're adding dates. I know there's two dates in Philadelphia and across, I saw like D.C. and New York. They're adding second dates all over the country. So make sure you get your tickets. iHeartRadio is going to be doing where I work. <laughs> They're going to be doing premieres of the new album coming home all day. So download that iHeartRadio app and you can check it out. I'll have a chance to hear it tomorrow for the first time because I'm sure it's going to be played at least two times during my show. Now, speaking of Taraji P. Henson, some great news for her. She's coming out with our very first children's book and it's coming out around Juneteenth. It's entitled you could be a good friend no matter what. I love to see this woman winning. Yesterday, I mentioned the NBA All-Star Game. It's Sunday, February 18th. Jennifer Hudson is performing halftime. Babyface is doing the national anthem, all from Indy, as in Indianapolis. And they're going to be playing at the home of the Indiana Pacers. We lost an amazing performer from an amazing group. Henry Fambro of the Spinners. He was 85 years old. He passed away. The last surviving member of the group. They were just inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. New Edition did this amazing tribute to them. The Spinners were one of the greatest R&B groups of the 70s. When you think of the music that Tom Bell and Linda Creed put together. It's such a big part of music history. Sadie, love don't love nobody. Could it be I'm falling in love? It's a shame I'll be around mighty love. Then came you. There's so many. I'm doing a big tribute Sunday night because I play one of these on Sunday night. And we're going to do a, a big tribute. Now today, Ghetto Child and I Don't Want to Lose You. Um, two songs that came out in 73 and 75. Henry actually sang lead on those songs. So today, we did a little mini, just a little mini tribute as we announced his passing. And and my boss was like, well, which ones? And he said, I'll be around. But I said, no, I'm going to do Mighty Love because that's one of my favorite songs. First concert I went to, 11 years old, Valley Forge Music Fair. It was this, it's no more. It was a... Uh, concert hall where no matter where you sat, it was a good seat because it was in the realm. That's when I fell in love with music. And so I'm in the studio and it gets busy. Well, I wanted to hear the song. So I turn the monitor up. Why I start tearing up on the cry? The tears was like right there. And I was like, I was like, I can't be crying at work. Menopause is driving me nuts. That's, that um, the, the, the menopause is driving me nuts. The sweats, the tears, the emotions—they're like all over the place. And I did. I sat and I was like, "I want to cry," but I'm like, "It works. You can't cry. You can't cry. I'm at work." Anyone who's going through menopause knows exactly what I mean. But growing up 
in South Philadelphia. My parents, they love the spinners. And I just remember music. You know, you hear music from your childhood and it makes you think, memories, maybe family. And that was at that moment that I really fell in love with music. It's so funny when people say, who are you? Child, I'm a radio DJ in Philadelphia. I've been doing it for 42 years. Music, 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 WDAS. Wait, and I always say it with my chest down, WDAS. Um, it's an iHeart station, but that that's the, that's what I'd be really doing during the day. This is, this is our fun, because I love Scoop. But I did. I sat here and I got teary. Henry Fabrow, the Spinners. Rest in peace, sir. Spinners just gave us some great music. And if you're sitting there saying, I never heard of them. YouTube, type in the Spinners and hear some great R&B music. Britney Spears. This girl be cracking me up. She posted a picture of her and Ben Affleck from back in the day. And she said, yeah, we used to make out. She wasn't 18. He was 27. Somebody check on Jennifer Lopez. Brittany, why are you being messy? She posted that up just as nice. And they're saying that it was Ben. Because they said it was a Hollywood actor that she cheated on Justin Timberlake with. There was a whole bunch of cheating going on. Nobody, nobody was faithful. Miley Cyrus, who was great on the Grammys the other night. I love the big hair. She is being credited for the mob wife look. What's the mob wife look? Big hair. <laughs> Nailed. Leopard. Y'all know I love to wear black. But leopard, this look apparently is very in for 2024. I don't know what they're going to do in 2025 because I will still have... I don't call it the mob wife look. I, just, I love big hair and I, I love nails. But they're crediting Miley Cyrus with that. This Saturday night on CBS, there's a Super Bowl soulful celebration coming on. Earth, Wind & Fire, Mary Mary, Kirk Franklin. I had a chance to interview the woman who's the executive producer of this, Nate Burleson. He does the morning, CBS mornings with Gail King. He's not only co-hosting this with Cedric the Entertainer, Tashina Arnold, he's also going to be honored. Adam Blackstone, who's a big deal around these parts. He's the producer of this, but it airs. This is the 25th anniversary. It used to be solely, or they would call it the gospel celebration the night before the Super Bowl, but they got the NFL Players Choir. I didn't know they had a player's choir and lots of entertainment. And it's going to be airing on CBS on Saturday night. I literally have notes everywhere. Uh, fast food prices. I don't really eat a lot of fast food. Wait, at 60, I'm trying to do better. But I had no idea that some of the prices were as high as they are. A Big Mac combo, $18. Consumers are fighting back. I saw two news stories this morning where consumers are fighting back against these high prices. Now, speaking of prices, Snoop Dogg and Master P are suing Walmart. This here is so wild. Snoop Dogg introduced a new cereal last July. Post brands, I guess they do the post cereals, they wanted to buy them. But they said, no, we'll do a deal. You know, we want to keep it in the family. They had said they were going to market, distribute, and sell these cereals. You know that didn't happen. They have discovered that the Snoop Dogg cereal actually sat in stock rooms for months. And when they did put it out, it was $10 a box. I know I got my face cracked uh, maybe four years ago. Shopping, I couldn't believe not only how small the cereal boxes are, but how high they were. I was like, this could go in one setting if you have a bunch of kids. Uh, they hired attorney Ben Crump. They also said that Post would hide the, the cereal behind the other cereal. So, you know how it is. You go in the store, you kind of be grabbing what you first see. That is a real thing. 
because certain products are put like right there. You know, and most people don't pay attention and they're going to pick up what they first see. Look at me with the hand gestures. Um, was Walmart hiding the Snoop Dogg's arrow? Are you surprised? They got attorney Ben Crump. Ben Crump, child, he is the man. Ben Crump is the man. You have a problem, be like, get Ben Crump on the phone because he's going to take care of all of this. Martha Stewart at 82. She says, yeah, I get Botox and filters because I don't want to look old. I just loved her honesty in that moment. Idris Elba is back as Knuckles because Sonic the Hedgehog is getting a spinoff series on Paramount Plus this spring, this Thanksgiving, Moana 2 with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Cat Williams is coming to Netflix with a new special May 4th. And Eve, who's that girl? <coughs> I had a lot to talk about. Eve is coming out with a book. It's entitled, Who's That Girl? We had a chance to honor her here in Philadelphia with our Women of Excellence. I'm excited about what she's going to write because before she married this very, 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 very rich man and welcomed motherhood, she was in the rap game and she was into acting. Now she's writing a book, Who's That Girl? The Bob Marley movie, One Love, is hitting theaters next Friday, the 16th. It's the story of Bob Marley, the reggae great. He passed in 1981. He was young, 36, from cancer. Had he had lived, he would have been 79. He would have celebrated a birthday last week. When the side chicks don't be quiet, Bob Marley was married to Rita, but he had other women. And one of the women... Had a kid, Damian Marley. Now, 41. 41 years ago. 41 years later, she gets on social media and says, I will never let you go. When the side chicks be doing too much. You're never going to let them go. He's white. The side chicks ain't quiet no more. Now, they'd have been around forever. The other woman, the mistress. Duh, 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 duh. They're not quiet no more. They're just not. Your comments were funny. A lot of people say they don't want to see Tamar in another reality show. Probably because she made such a big stink. Like, I'm not doing reality TV. Now she's coming with her sisters. And Monique, who blew up the internet. Not mean blew up. The internet blew up the internet with Club Shay Shay. A lot of people said the Shannon Sharp was like the Jerry Springer because he's not a real journalist. He's not. He's a sports guy who is being inquisitive and he just happens to have an extremely hot show right now with Club Shay Shay. But your comments were interesting. You had a couple of comedians like clap back and it was like, just stop, just be quiet. Just, 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 just. Subscribe to the channel so you never miss a beat. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And you know I want to hear from you. So please leave a comment. I'm Patty Jackson. Thanks for joining me. I'm your auntie of pop culture.